Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Sarah Pedun, a very passionate farmer. In today's video, I'm going to share with you ways how you can save money in your small urban farm. Number one, upcycle or repurpose things. When you need to build something, look around and see what you have. For example, when you need to build something, let's say a chicken coop, a rabbit house, anything that you need to build. Find ways to recycle material. You save money by not purchasing new things. Also, you save the environment by not disposing of what you had. For example, plastics. It is fun and artistic to create things your own way by recycled things. It doesn't matter how it looks. Number two, use organic waste. I have rabbits in my farm, so I don't need to buy manure. I just use my rabbit urine or the rabbit droppings as my manure. You can also use the kitchen scraps. The leftover food, instead of throwing away, you can give to your birds if you have, or compost it and later use it in the garden. My number three is grow as much food as you can. It saves money when you grow your own food. Um, if you have a small space like I do, you can only grow, you can always grow things that you use mostly. For example, spring onions, spinach, collard greens. Also, if you can keep some buds to save money on eggs, you save money by not buying from the market. You also save transport money. You know, in Uganda, we, had, we use border borders and everything is a bit expensive now. So if you can have chickens and you get your eggs, instead of boarding to go and buy chicken from somewhere, you'll save money that you would have used as transport to go to the market and buy food. Number four, capture and recycle water. You can harvest rainwater or channel your kitchen water to your garden. The, the most common one is harvesting rainwater. Harvest rainwater as much as you can because we have those days that it's so dry, but your plants need watering, your buds need water. Like you use a lot of water in the dry season. When you harvest your rainwater, it helps to use for cleaning the cleaning the farm, watering plants, and many others. My number five is whenever you can, keep chicken for eggs or for meat. Prices of eggs, sometimes it's just way too high. So if you can keep a few chickens so you can enjoy the eggs or you can have it as meat, it saves you money buying stuff all the time. My number six is learn to preserve your food. Preserve your food. For example, you can dry what you've harvested. You can freeze. You can salt it and preserve it that way. Or you can dehydrate. Most common one here, I don't have a, dehy I don't have a dehydrator. I can freeze and dry. When you learn to preserve your food, you need to learn ways to prepare your food, different ways of how you can prepare your food. For example, when you freeze your tomatoes, you can use it the same way you can use the fresh tomatoes. So learn to cook, learn to cook different meals from what you grow from your garden. The other bonus tip is to save your seeds. It's raining. I'm going to pick them later. Here I have the string beans. This is what I'm going to plant. And I have here Queen Anne's lace. It has been hanging here for quite some time. I hope they germinate. Okay, 
I need to cut these ones all off. So this is how we are recycling tires. Inside there's a black lining to prevent any chemical leakage. Also recycle our containers. My sister has a, a honey business. After packaging her honey, she gives me some of her containers. And this is how I use them. This is how we harvest our rainwater. The tank is quite small. It's actually flooding now. Like I said, my sister has a honey business and this is another way we recycle the containers. We use them for, we use them to store water. When we store water here, we can use for the birds and also we use it for watering the garden. We try as much as possible to grow lots of food. You can see the tree tomato, matoke, cassava, tomatoes, over here we have chayote, <laughs> just in this I was, as I was trying to. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. I guess today is the day. Kindly subscribe. It does help boost my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.